Wow, guys, I have not picked up this camera and my last clip, I think, was, was the last video. Like, the last video I did is the last clip. I know I'm always wearing this jacket, but I'm having a bad hair day, so this is covering up the hair. As you can see, like, my hair looks good. It's not really that good. I, I, I pull it down, it's terrible. You guys don't even want to see it. You'll scream. You'll click off the video, and I don't want you to do that. Anyways, if you guys click this video, it's probably for the thumbnail or the title. I just wanted to talk about uh, a couple things before. Um, I'm going to try to upload two times a week. That's, that's my goal for now. Uh, I want a new camera. I want to get the G7X. That's a big goal for me. And besides that, I want to upload a bunch of videos that I like personally, not that I'm forcing out. I don't want to just force a video that's garbage. Because, I mean, if I don't get the views, then I don't like uploading it. I'm going to private it. Boring. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about why you should never work at a retail. Okay? I'm not saying you shouldn't. Okay? If it's your first job, do it. If you're gonna get promoted, do it. If you know you like it, do it. But I'm saying why I don't like retail and why I think you should. Okay. So if you guys watch a day, my day in life, you know where I work. Um, I don't want to just give you where I work because you know, for their sake. But I work on a kind of like a, a smaller retail store rather than the bigger ones. Like in Florida, we have Publix and Walmart, and Target, and all that stuff. Like I don't know if those are really considered retail stores, but they kind of are but pretty much the reason I think you shouldn't a couple cons I'm gonna give you a cons and I'll give you I'll give you cons and then pros because most people that are gonna be clicking this are gonna be first-time jobs and um, you know for a first-time job it's okay you're you're making decent money most retail stores give you like I'd say 11 to not 9 to 11 or 9 to 12 around that range and it's that's pretty good honestly like me making my 11 50 an hour you know, I love it. I'm, I'm making decent money. I can do what I want to go do. I can go spend, you know, quality time. But I want to make a little bit more. Um, so, I'm always holding a pen. I don't know why. I just, I like pens. So, anybody that wants to send me uh, anything in the mail, like a P.O. box, give me some cool pens. Like a banana pen. That'd be dope. Oh, all the scented pens! Oh, those are so nice. Anyways, do you guys remember those from the book fairs? Like, the scented pencils and everything? You lift the cap off. It's, those are the best things. I don't care, I would make, I would break my mom's bank account for those, getting off topic. Anyways, so a couple cons. Hours are a big con, massive con, the biggest con. If you're expecting to work 35 hours consistently or 30 hours a week consistently, don't, don't expect that at retail, don't. Because you got bigger and better people and they'll just, they, they don't really, like, I'll, I'll get to that, hold on. But they pretty much just, this is tilted, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Anyways, so pretty much hours, biggest thing. Um, I go from working 40 hours a week to 20 to 10 to 5, back to 25, 30. It just it fluctuates. If you want a steady hour, um, definitely a smaller retail store is not the move at all. Yeah, so hours, it's like one of the one of the biggest cons. Um, it, you may look at it and be like, hey, well, there's some weeks well, where I don't want to work a lot. But like, it, you, you think that now, but then when, when the money comes in, you're like, Yikes. Yeah, so that's that's like a big con. Um, so I guess we're gonna go on to con number two. Um, the people that you work with, it just seems like they don't really care about you. Um, it, it, except for a, f a few. Like, I have a few people I work with that I feel like are like a mom figure to me. And they really care about me. Then the others, it just feels like they're out to like steal my hours. They don't really care about me. It feels like they're competing. And I don't like that. Like, you shouldn't have to feel like you're competing for your work. You should do your work, do it well, get it done and then move on to the next day or, you know, whatever you're doing. You should feel like you're working with somebody, not against somebody, if, if you, you know what I'm saying. Like, I hate feeling that. I hate feeling like I always have to be perfect and I'm working against somebody because if I mess up, then they're going to get my spot. Like, no, it should just be like you're working as like a family. Like, you're, like it's your work family, but that's like another con. Um, move on to con three, I guess. All right, so con three, pretty much like they treat you like you're replaceable unless you get like to know them fast other otherwise you're like kind of replaceable in a way some some places are different all right i'm just saying my experience on and giving you guys advice on what i think okay but yeah it just feels like you're replaceable like you're there for a short time and uh it, it just i don't know i don't like that feeling at all it's, it's kind of the same thing it goes neck and neck with like they, they're out to get you out to see your spot like i don't know i don't like feeling like i'm replaceable because no one is they shouldn't you should have your work spot and always keep it as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do 
I feel like you should keep your spot, not, oh, they did a tiny bit better, like, no, like, you're the, I, I haven't called out once, okay? I'll, I'll just say that, I haven't called out once in a year, and so. Another thing is, if you're not the higher end, if you're not up there, so for example, let's say you got, uh, I'm a, let's say cashier, above a cashier, a little bit more above a cashier, assistant manager, manager. Okay, so the two in between assistant and cashier, um, if you're not anywhere in between there and you're just a cashier and you're asking for vacation days off, more than likely you're not gonna get them. You're not. If you're gonna ask for a day off or to get your shift schedule or shift change, you're probably not gonna get it, okay? So expect the unexpected, if that makes sense. Like, don't think that you're gonna go into work with a, uh, oh, I want this week off and think 100% you're gonna get it. You can get it, and you can't get it at the same time. Like, you might not get it, but you might get it. It sucks, okay? Trust me, it sucks. Uh, it happened to me. Once. But since I'm, I've been there a long time now, it, like, I, I get a little more leeway. But yeah. There's just, there's like a bunch of little things that you guys, working your first job, you'll understand. Um, I don't think fast food's better. I think fast food might be worse. Never worked it, but I just know. My girlfriend works at, at McDonald's. Yeah, it's... No bueno. No. No. Bueno. Anyways. So I'm gonna, I don't want to, enough with all the bad talking about retail. Let me give you some good pros, okay? Some good pros. Like I said, some people might not like you, but there's some people that do like you. And like I said, I have a mom, a couple mom figures there. When I work with them, I love talking to them. You can talk about everything. You can get drama off your chest. You can get everything. You can let them know about all your good things and they let you know about all the good things that they have happened recently you know like i was looking for a car for a long time i still haven't shown you guys my car i have to next video i promise but yeah so I, I got a car and i told them about it and they were both so happy you don't understand i don't want to say their names just for the sake of privacy and everything but i love them to death like they're they're my work family for sure those two um but yeah you can meet some cool people there uh another pro you get some cool customers sometimes i help an old lady out to bring water or something and they tip me five dollars i could literally get a milkshake with that are you kidding chicken nuggets are you kidding me another pro if you're working retail usually they close usually if you're working walmart somewhere 24 hours don't get me wrong walmart's very garbage but other places they close so you kind of you kind of got that like you know you're gonna go home at a certain time around there and you have to clock out at a certain time so then like you you can't be like five minutes over like that's perfect that's amazing knowing that you're gonna leave right when you're supposed to leave i love it another pro is sometimes you get funny people like sometimes they just make your day that's another con i'm adding a con i'm so sorry like don't be mad yeah sometimes you get customers that ruin your day like they just rip you apart like they don't care they'll grab your heart snatch it rip it in half right in front of you they don't care they'll just let you have it then that leads on to a pro where some customers like they, they they like make your day so amazing okay i i love some of the customers there some of the regulars some of them are so cool i guess i'll just add one more pro while i'm at it another pro is like my hours are cut so there's gonna be more videos yeah no money yeah yeah Ooh. yeah if there's any videos you guys want to see um just let me know please down in the comments comment down below what your first job was and let me know how you thought about it if you loved your first job if you hated it if you met your first love there if you're you ate your first cheeseburger there if you whatever whatever happened first time job just let me know let me know all about it down below please i will respond to everyone i promise you okay there's 10 million 322 million comments i'll respond to every single one of them except for you jamie yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you did like the video and you thought it was really good and you know share it to people share it to people okay if you're going for a first time job watch this video not all jobs suck okay your first time job could be the best job of your life you never know you could move up to a manager and be set for the rest of your life okay don't just take this video and think i'm bad talking retail stores or you know jobs in general jobs are great for money if you want to go do things work a job if you work through your day it will feel like your day like you'll look at the clock three hours pass if you're just doing what you're supposed to do i promise you okay i'm not bad talking retail stores share this to everyone okay make sure to like the video subscribe if you're new i want to get off this 1070 subscribers mark i need to we need to go up just share it to everybody if if you know me personally from school or anything Share it to somebody who doesn't know me. This video will help, I promise you, okay? But just let me know what you guys want to see. I plan on doing more videos with my girlfriend. 
um, more videos of my friends. Uh, I, I have a couple videos that I want to do for you guys. Can't say them. I want you guys to be surprised with them, okay? But other than that, I'm back. Two videos a week. The day this video is uploaded, within seven days, expect another video. Um, yeah. So, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Make watching? Watching? Watching. Make sure to like, subscribe. Been your droid. Been your droid. Been your droid. It's been your boy Jordan. Peace. God, I haven't done this in forever. Yeah, I could have died that day, but I guess God don't ride that way. Chilling in the cup, getting high all day, with a couple bad bitches, I'ma do it my way. Driven by the way that I be living, everything I got, I'm giving. Why well, you think they can't do it like me? Uh, I'ma get high.